The universe is listening to your every thought. Or perhaps more accurately, the universe is responding to your every thought and feeling. For the purposes of this viewpoint, I'm going to say that the feelings we have contain thoughts, which seems more accurate to me. From our general state of mind, quote, quote, we derive our thoughts, which are 99% of the time creations of others that we pick up as a broadcast and make our own. By then augmenting those thoughts with further emotion, we fall into resonance with these thought broadcasts. Now that this has been established, I would also add the concept that all we perceive from all of our senses is one big moving form. It is listening to your broadcast and changing its shape and more subtle characteristics. In this sense, we cannot be alone because the other that which is responding to us, is always present. From where I stand, awareness of one's feelings and subsequent thoughts that we assign authorship to is the number one most important factor in having a fulfilling experience of one's life. The complicating factor, of course, is our separate self-awareness, uh, call it ego. We've been trained to believe that we are separate from not only other people, but from the physical world out there that has also been drummed into us as reality, quote, quote. To make it even more interesting, we've included a subconsciousness that automatically responds to external stimuli with behaviors and perceptions adopted during stressful or traumatic experiences in our past. It's also where the repetitive commands are stored and activated. Those statements about ourselves, 99% of which are not ours, that are mostly negative. Then there's the higher self or soul factor. This is the overarching general point of awareness outside the specific timeline of our life. Often what this self needs and wants is at odds with our temporal self down here on the streets where the boots hit the ground. As our temporal self, we say, this is not supposed to be happening to me when something we've decided is bad or unwanted or unpleasant happens to us. Repeat it often enough and the higher self just doubles down, reflecting back more and more of that thing that isn't supposed to be happening. This repetitive mantra of this shouldn't be happening gets lodged in the subconscious and plays over and over there, giving the universe all the commands it needs to deliver yet more unwanted circumstances. As spiritual catalyst Teal Swan has said, quote, what's happening is supposed to happen. How do you know? Because it's happening, end quote. The sum total of your feelings are reflecting back to you in 3D ultra high definition. And as you then react to this 3D broadcast with this shouldn't be happening, it's resistance adding further energy to the unwanted circumstances. It's pretty much a trap, a cosmic catch-22 designed to show you the mechanism. There is a way out of repeating unwanted conditions, and further, a way to speed up or actualize your desires. I'll put this into three steps. Number one, get on board with experiencing the unwanted or resisted circumstances, feelings, or thoughts. Allow them to move through you in the certainty that you are, quote, running out, end quote, those negativities, processing them through time. Number two, replace all feelings and concurrent thoughts of this is never going to change or not this again with the joy and ease you'll feel when all those negativities leave your life experiences forever. More accurately, by accessing these feelings, you are already experiencing the resolution to the unwanted condition, so it's not actually in the future. Number three, use the repetition tool to reprogram the subconscious. Make it a point to consistently feel the joy and completion, the wonder, the amazement, and thrill of a desire realized. Do whatever it takes to get into this space of joy and fulfillment regardless of outward appearances. You are literally dissolving these unwanted conditions by repeating feelings of joy and ease. 
The universe is always listening. What are you telling it? You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.